Madin Mazimbwa, back again, delivering a memorable life performances in art only a few artists have managed to master, giving people a lifelong memory when on stage ensures your legacy will live for long, even after you have passed on. There is a certain level of awareness that one needs to tap into in order to deliver such a memorable performance, the mood, the vibe, and the many, many hours of practice all perfectly meet for you to deliver that memorable performance. So on this list today, we'll only be sharing with you those 10 artists, the best 10 artists whom I have personally watched uh, you know, to perform live. It's a personal list, as you can see. So feel very free to disagree with me. And we'll only be sharing those artists who are still alive today and only those who are still based in Zimbabwe. Those artists whereby you can go and watch them perform this coming weekend, this next weekend. So artists like uh, Dr. Thomas Mamafumo, as much as I love him, they will not be included in, the, in this list. Mai Shingisai Suluma, Live Moma Jaivana, they will not be included on this list. So let's get to those top 10. On number 10, I have Say Colors, my bandit. Now, Say Colors for me has been one of the best uh, dance or not live performers for many, many years. I think he has been the second best after Winky G for years. Colors, you know what, whether you hate him or love him, you know, it is one of those people who sort of is polarizing. There is a legion of fans that are like Colors are gone, and then there is that legion who love what he does. But hate him or love him, you know what? Colors was one of the major icons, a major player in making dance or the force it became. And when it comes to stage work, he knows how to move the crowds. Uh, you know what? Colors is a very, very good performer. He's very energetic. He just knows how to control the crowd. And this is one of the major reasons why he has been filling up the Mbari Netball Complex, Mbari, and the City Sports Center consistently. You know what? It's a testament of his of his expertise on stage. And personally, now I, I believe for Colors to take his performances to the next stage, he needs to employ the services of a live band. Given he has now successfully switched to reggae, a live band will definitely take him to the next stage. And on number nine, there is a Ja Praise. Uh, JP is undoubtedly the most popular artist in Zimbabwe, and it has been so like for the past five years or so, there is no other artist who is as popular as Ja Praise. Album wise, not creating the albums, JP is unrivaled in Zimbabwe. Whenever he releases an album, you know what, it's going to be fire. Japreza knows how to make beautiful and lasting music. You know what, his albums, you can listen to over and over again. And when it comes to stage, you know what, he's definitely also a force uh, to reckon with. He delivers shows that are worth your buck. But I, however, believe, you know, JP can become much, much better than he is right now. I feel there's too much more he can do and he can get much, much better. And given the type of sound, you know, and set up that he does on stage, I, I believe you should take some tips from Dr. Thomas Mafumo because they have you not know, somewhat a similar stage setup, so you can learn a trick or two from the legend. Now, on number eight, we have Minister Michael Mahendere. Uh, now, the minister is an icon who is very, very much loved, and for good reason. You know, I've watched him perform quite a number of times. He's an energetic and stylish performer. You know, I just love seeing the minister on stage, how he manages to blend modern vibes, you know, the modern uh, kind of dances, the modern kind of styles with the gospel in such a very classy way. You know, whenever you attend a show uh, by Minister Mahendere, be prepared to dance and sing along, you know, in praise and worship uh, with the minister. He will leave you feeling very blessed and motivated. He's definitely uh, a perfor one performer who deliver a show that is worth your money. And on number seven, Mbeo and the Mozi tribe. Now, Mbeo, I have to say, he definitely took notes when he was being groomed, mentored by the late Dr. Mchikudzi, his stage work is very impressive. You know what, he has the right energy and his band is very, very good. You know, despite the fact that they have been working together for just a few years, you know, what, it shows where they are putting in the hours, the many hours of practice and they have this uh, sort of, you know, connection. They have this understanding of each other. And I have to say, Mbeo is definitely moving in the right direction. And as his discography go grows, you know what, the band i am sure it will absolutely improve and in a few years if i'm if i'm going to, to to do a refresh of this list i'm sure you'll be much much higher up on the list i just love watching be on stage on number six we have janet manual now janet is less than 10 years in the music industry but the impact that she has had over those years you know they they definitely that impact definitely deserves respect and recognition she has basically changed the course of the entire gospel genre she has raised the bar in terms of concerts and she continues to set that standard 
whenever you know Janet announces that she, she she has a show nearby, you know to know that it will be worth it. She's one of those people who is looking to improve each and every time. So whenever you go to her shows, you know just know that it will be worth it. It will be worth your money. And you know on stage she's a powerful and fierce performer. She knows how to move the crowd. Her performances are always engaging as she switches expertly between praise and worship. You know what? Her shows are definitely worth your money. They are value for your money. And on number five, we have the legend, Alec Macheso. And now Bashar is a legend who has been filling shows for over 20 years. You know what? He has been doing this thing. And for me, you know what? He basically rewrote the Sungura handbook. And in the 2000s, he was the definition of a night out. He was that good. He was on top of his game. And in terms of performances back then, you know, it was either him or they were on the top spot because those two giants, you know, they knew how to move the crowds. Out now, you know, despite Bashar still being among the top acts in the whole of Zimbabwe, I, I have to say he's no longer at his previous levels. Uh, yes, he's still a great entertainer. You know, Alec Machez is one of those pure entertainers we have in Zimbabwe, but the level has lowered a bit. Hence, you know, the number five spot. If you watched uh, or if you attended any of his shows during the 2005 2006 and attend these shows right now you can see good yes he's still very good but the level is sort of lowered and on number four we have progress chifumu now progi is a very 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 underrated you know artist for me you know what my head will just explode you know trying to figure out why he gets overlooked this much you know what he's sort of he's definitely the full package you know what? for starters progi's uh, progi's among the best lead guitarist we have in Zimbabwe. He is that good on the guitar. And secondly, he has some amazing, amazing vocals. You know what? He knows how to manage his vocals. He knows how to control his vocals. And thirdly, you know the things that he sings about on his songs, they are on point. And also, when, when on stage, you know what? He is one hell of a performer. You can go to a Progressive Fumo show without knowing any of his tracks. Or maybe it will be your first time hearing about Progressive Fumo. But one thing I will guarantee you is that you dance, you have a good time. He just knows what to do when he's on stage and you dance, not your socks off. And on number three, we have Winky D. And you know, at the current moment, there is no artist who can make the crowd sing along as much as the gaffer. You know, Winky D knows how to make you sweat when he's on stage. Attend his show and you and be prepared to return back with a hoarse voice because you'll be singing along very, very loudly. You know, I've been to countless Winky D shows. Uh, the most compared to anyone on this list and i have to say he keeps on improving uh for me he he first announced himself as a master performer at the biniman show you know i just go online search for winky Live at the biniman show just look at how wild the crowd went when he entered the stage it's just amazing and since then he has been killing shows and once you attend his show you understand why winky is usually the last act on a show because performing after him is basically a suicide mission and right now, currently, his band, the Vigilance Band, is now a well, a very well-oiled machine. The band members now have strong understanding of each other. And if they continue this trajectory, I, I believe very, very soon, they'll be entering the gut level of bands, you know what? Uh, where we have bands such as the Black Spirits, Orchestra Dendera Kings, you know, the Blacks Unlimited. They are just that good. Now, I just hope going forward, when it comes to recording music, you not know, for the albums, I hope Winky D gets to record with his live band so that those fans, those people who are not able for one reason or the other to attend these shows can witness how good his band has become. But you know what? A Winky D show is always, always value for your money and be prepared to jump and dance. Go, you know, wearing some comfortable clothes because you will be dancing at a Winky D show. So on number two, uh, there is Victor Kunonga. Now, Victor is a master performer. You know, when you watch him perform, when you watch Victor Kunonga perform, you now understand uh, when, when you hear people saying, you know what, they are just they are people who are just talented. They are people who are going to talent. They just have that talent. It's sort of like feels, but you know what, it's effortless to them. And you just understand that when you under, when you watch Victor Kunonga perform, you know what, he will blow you away in the most satisfying way. You won't be jumping around or shouting, but the music it will hit you deep down in, in, inside. And you know what? You'll be so much filled with joy to an extent whereby you can just start crying. He's just that good. And whenever he's on stage, you know, the way the guitars will be talking to each other is just amazing. You know, the awesome, you know, the awesome lead guitar 
uh, the beautiful rhythm guitar, you know, that dependable and start instead, you know, the bass guitar and then the drama, you know, the, the guy who does drums for Victor is definitely a national treasure. Even the guy on the bass, you know, he's just so dependable. And I have to say, you know, Victor knows how to move the stage. Those subtle, classy dances are just super beautiful. You know, those performances, he, he delivers performances which will get you lost in the rhythm. And for many times, you know, Victor has delivered shows that in the end, they feel like a bargain. I highly recommend it. You know, for each and every Zimbo, watch this guy perform live. At least just once, he's a master performer, like I've said. Before you go to the big one, uh, let me share with you some honorable mentions. Firstly, there's Jembe Monks. Then there's Flying Bantu. I'm a huge fan of the band. Uh, there's Hop Masike. And then there's Mrs. K. We also have Dadza D. And lastly, there's the Joyful Praise Choir. And now to the big one. On number one, we have Mukumba. Now, this band for me is hands down the best. No one touches, touches them when it comes to consistently delivering memorable live performances. You know, for me, for the four years prior to the COVID pandemic, I could not afford to miss a Mukumba show. You know, to, why? Why deprive myself of such goodness? And also, you know, they have an average of about three shows per year in Arara, so it's easy to attend all of their shows. And as I attended their shows, you know, I got to understand why they are Zimbabwe's biggest musical export and among the most impressive bands from Africa. You, you understand why when you attend their shows. You know, the volume of talent, the expertise, and understanding that these guys have whilst on stage, it's insane. It's just mind-blowing. I remember um, on one of my early shows, one of my early Mukumba shows, I just suddenly stopped dancing. And I stayed at the lead singer, Matthias Mzaza. You know, his voice, it filled the auditorium in a way that I have never experienced. And I just had to marvel. I, I was like, how is he doing that? How can one, you know, be that good? How, how are his vocals doing all those things? You know, you get those goosebumps when you hear something so beautiful, something so surreal. And Matthias Mzaza, I have to say, is definitely one of the best vocalists in the world of Zimbabwe. He is that good. And also, you know, later that same show, I remember when it came that time when Trust Samende, the lead guitarist, was doing his solo part. I, I, I again just stopped. I just stopped doing everything, and I just stared at him. How can one? How can one make sound that is so beautiful? That guy is amazing on the lead guitar. And for me, I have to say he is arguably the best lead guitarist we have in Zimbabwe. And it shows by the many many bands that hire him for his shows to be a session guitarist on their shows. He is amazing. And I just stopped. I'm not in disbelief. I remember I just started laughing in disbelief. With how was that even normal? For me, I enjoyed what I took all of my friends to watch Mukumba. You know, I would take one at a time. In those four years, like I said, prior to COVID, I would at each and every show, I would go with someone different. Usha, let's go to the show, bro. Let's go to the show you have. Why should I keep all this goodness? I know to myself. And now they're all big fans. They are now the first ones to notify me when Mukumba is in town. And I also remember when I took my then girlfriend, now wife, to her first Mukumba show. In the middle of the show, you know, she just stopped dancing. And she stared at Matthias, you know, ingesting disbelief. And I was like, that's exactly the reaction that I did the first time. You know, those that guy, those guys, they just move you. They just reach deep down in it, you know, inside of you. Their performances are amazing. Even if you don't understand uh, the language that they are singing, in. you know what you have the time of your life you know, the band is just amazing everyone the bass i mean abundance everyone is just on point uh, the one on the keyboard the one on the you know what on the percussions each and every each and every member of that band they know their duty they are very talented in what they do and together they are a very solid uh you know what you need so whatever you are going to pay for a mukumba show is always a bargain i also remember this other day when they released the album leando at theater in the park they say pay what you want you could enter for free and i went to this friend of mine and my friend and my friend i think it was one of it was one of his first shows he just went in you know for free because they said pay what you want but for me i was like no i cannot experience such good music just for free i just had to pay and i had to pay my full fare the fare that i always know good i whenever i'm going to watch these guys i paid that amount because i held i hold them in such high regard they have uh, delivered beautiful performances for me whereby you know it's just it just feels so wrong watching them perform for free so for me that is my personal list those are the best 
10 live performers in Zimbabwe uh, of all the shows that I've experienced in over my you know, 10 years of attending shows. So I know for many of you, you have, my, you, you have enjoyed other artists. You know? So go in the comment section, tell me who are your top 10, who gets into your top 10, who is your best uh, when it comes to live performances. And after that, you know, just come back, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again next time.